Hi, my name is Neil from Big Red Cloud, and today we're going to be talking about WordPress and what WordPress can do for your business in setting up and editing a website, especially if you don't have any prior experience doing one in HTML or CSS. All you need to register for WordPress is an email. Once you sign up and register, you'll probably be taken to a page that looks a lot like this. This is your site at the moment. As you can see, it's fairly empty, and it's going to be our job today to fill it out and hopefully attract new visitors to your website. So, to get started, you have to go to the dashboard. The dashboard can be found in the top left drop down menu, and this is basically where all the editing takes place for your WordPress. So, as you can see, you can add pages, links, media such as photos and videos, and blogs to your website. When you're starting to design your website, the first thing you need to do is settle on the site structure. A site structure is basically the number of pages you want to have in your website and what those pages will be. So once you know what you want to have in your website, we can start adding pages. So just go to the dashboard and click on pages. As you can see, WordPress is already automatically loaded an about page for your website. And so to add new, you just click a new page here at the top. Usually websites will have a home page, of course. So we're just going to go type in home into the title. And here is where you'll actually edit your page. And here is a permalink or the URL. This is basically what the address for the page, if you put it in the address bar, that it will take you to. This can be edited, but for the moment, we're just going to keep it the same. Over here, you can see you can save a draft of the page so that you can come back and work on it later. Or you can preview the page to see how it looks. Um, both of these won't actually put the page up live onto your WordPress. To do this, we have to click publish. So we're just going to go ahead and publish a home page. So as you can see, page published. So we're going to add a couple more pages. Generally, every website will have a contact page. So we'll go ahead and put a contact us page in. So if people can't find information on the website, they'll be able to get the details to call us there or send us an email. And generally these days, most websites will have a blog page to keep content up to date and attract new visitors. So we'll go ahead, we'll put in a blog page and we'll publish that too. So the next most important thing when you're setting up your website is to assign a front page and a posts page. So in order to do this we go to settings and we go to reading and we go to front page displays here. Usually you want a static front page. This is basically you setting up a normal home page for your website and here we'll just select the home page that we already set up. In the post page, this is where any posts that you put up will be updated, basically your blog. So we're going to go ahead and select the blog page that we just created for that. And then we're going to scroll down and we'll save changes. Always remember to save your changes. You could be clicking around for about 10 minutes trying to update your site. And if you don't click save changes, all that work will be lost and you'll have to do it all again. So let's see how our site's shaping up now. If we go up here and we right click and open the link in the new tab, it'll open our website. And as you can see here, we have our about page, our home page, our contact us page, and our blog page. But apart from that, it's still fairly basic. Right clicking and open the link in the new tab allows you to flick between the dashboard and your website so you can quickly and easily check what updates you're making. Okay, so the next thing is we need to make it look a bit better. So we're going to get a new theme for our website. A theme is basically the look and feel template of the website. And it's usually common to all the pages in the website. So at the moment, our theme is fairly basic. It's basically blank and white and there's not much going on. So we're going to select a new one. But to do this, you go to Appearance. Once, once you go to Appearance, you go to Themes. So this is the one we have at the moment, it's 2012, and as you can see, it's fairly basic. So WordPress uses free themes and also premium themes, which you have to pay for. Usually you can preview them and look at screenshots to see what you like best. So maybe you should research into what theme you'd like to use, and if you need to pay for it, then that might be a decision you have to make. But for now, we're going to settle on this one. So all you do is activate it. Once that's activated, 
we'll be able to see it change on our website. So let's go over to our website and click refresh. Now you can see the look and feel of it has changed completely. Looks completely different than it did before and this is common for every single page on our website so far. <coughs> so we can also play around with customizing our team. Although premium teams you tend to have more kind of options to customize with. Um, at the moment we're going to just change our site title. So you just get to customize a team by once it's active just click on customize in the appearance menu. So as I said we're going to change our site title. Um, our site title at the moment is just Big Red Club Tutorial. So let's change that to Ice Cream Information. Let's make a side about ice cream. And the tagline is generally just oh, tagline is generally just summing up your website in one kind of phrase. So it could be something like next generation ice cream <laughs> something like that but we're just going to leave it at that for the moment click save and we'll go here we'll refresh and as you can see it's changed okay so that's basically it for teams so once you decide what you want to use and and, and how you want to go about using your team or if you want to say use a free one or a premium team then you can come in here and customize as much as you possibly can so you're going to probably need to decide on a team based on what you want your site to do. So if it's an e-commerce site, you may have to buy an e-commerce team uh, for e-commerce functionality. Um, okay, so the next thing on our menu is menus, funnily enough. So the menus is basically another word for the navigation bar, which is this thing here. So we're gonna I'm going to show you now how to change menus. So just go to Appearance and go to the Menus tab. And this is your navigation bar here, or how you set it up. Generally, in a navigation bar, the home page will be the first one. So in order to move that around, we're just going to drag the home page up. If you want to remove anything from the navigation bar, so say we didn't want to contact us page on the navigation bar, just click on the drop down, click remove. Or if you want to keep it in or put in new pages, just come over here. This is where all your pages on your site will be. Just click and add to menu. And as always, remember to click save. You don't waste your time. You can create new menus up here so that you can swap between the others or if you want to have different menus for different parts of your site. But we're just going to leave it the way it is for the moment. So the next thing is blogging. The blogging function in WordPress is under the posts. So to click over the posts, you'll see that we don't actually have any blogs at the moment. As you can see when we go to our blog page which we set up earlier, there's nothing here. So let's put something up there now. So if we go to add new, similar to pages, just click add new. Enter the title of your blog here. So this is my post. And then here is where you can actually edit the content in your post. And once again, this is the URL that it will be assigned to, which you can edit. So we'll say, hi. I really like ice cream, which isn't a great blog by any standards, but it'll do for this. Uh, if you want to add photos or videos or any other kind of media into your blog, just click on add media. And these will take you to the media library. These, these are images that I've already uploaded to the media library, so I can just select from them and put them into my page. But if you want to upload stuff from your computer, just click on upload files go to select files and it'll bring you to searching in your computer so let's put this photo into our blog so over here once the photo is uploaded you'll see a title caption description alternate text you can even edit the size and once you're happy with it you can just insert it into the post and there it is when you're editing page content there's the visual editor which shows you which what will appear on the page and there's a text editor which is the actual HTML so if you have any experience with HTML you can actually edit the page from this through actual coding but if you don't or you just want to use the visual editor you can just type in 
add picture and play around with the formatting of the fonts and photos through the toolbar here and all this will appear as code here once you update it so we're going to go ahead and publish our first blog and we'll see what happens so let's go over to our site and refresh once we've done that you'll see this appears this is our first blog post now it's not great but as you can see the text is there and the photo is there so all I really need to do is obviously <laughs> write some more about ice cream and you know maybe have nice paragraphs and position the picture properly now at the moment it says that it's uncategorized so let's talk about blog categories blog categories are basically putting blogs into nice boxes which they can be found under oh and once you post your first blog wordpress will give you a nice new message about your blog so congratulating you on your first post so let's x that away so next thing we'll go back to our dashboard and we'll make another post so we'll add a new post over here this is my second post and we'll put in a different photo this time even more ice cream and we'll publish that and they give us a nice welcome message again I don't know why so let's X that away again and as you can see we now have two posts on our website so let's go back to our dashboard and we'll edit the categories so blog categories are defined in the categories tab down here so at the moment you can see these are uncategorized if I wanted to put them into the announcements category or the news category I can just click them there and if I want to uncategorize them I can just take that away so this is my second post we'll leave that in the announcements category for now and we'll update and what we'll do is we'll go over to our first post and we'll put that in the news category and we'll update that too and if you want to add new category just click on add new category type in the category that you'd like so ice cream info and just click on add new category and we'll put that in that category too and we'll update so once you're happy with that we'll go over to our site and refresh <coughs> and as you can see the categories appear here now if, when you click on the category only the post that you've assigned to that category will appear so our second post we assigned to the announcements category our first post we assigned to the ice cream info and the news category so posts can appear in more than one category if you want them to and clicking on these will only show the posts in that category so that's basically it for the basics of blogging so next on our list is adding media which we've kind of covered already so we want to add media in any post or even page <coughs> all you have to do is go into the page which you can do by going to the page tab or post tab and then clicking edit and clicking add media and up here you can also see that you can add a poll or a contact form so let's click on add media now, as i said before this will take you to the media library where any files that you upload will be kept so that you can use them again you can also you can see here insert tweets videos um, basically a lot of different media options for WordPress so let's insert this into our page <coughs> WordPress tends to generate this example text when you don't have anything on your page just to give you an idea of how the page will look with content in it to edit a photo once you've uploaded just simply click on it and click on the little photo button this will delete the image but we're just going to edit it for the moment so over here you can see the alignment of the photo so there's no alignment it will just sit wherever you inputted it we can left the center or the right and this basically affects how the text will behave around the photo and over on the right here you can edit the size of the photo so let's update that So that was in the about page so let's go to our website 
or refresh it. You always have to refresh to see any changes that you've made. Click on about, and there's our photo sitting there, edited. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is links. And we'll show you how to link from one page to another. So let's go to our dashboard again, and we'll go to our home page. You just click on edit. So in order to insert a link, you need text or a photo. So let's insert some text. So go here for information on ice cream. And we insert a link by highlighting the text and using the insert link button in the toolbox. This takes us to this screen here where we have to insert the URL of our link. This is the address that's found in the address bar up here. So I'm just going to put in the address of Wikipedia's article on ice cream. And we'll add link. And once we update that, and we go to our site, our home page, we should see the link go here for information on ice cream. And once we click on that, it will take us to the Wikipedia page for information on ice cream. So you should be able to link to any page you want to as long as you have the address bar up here and you put it into the appropriate link tool here in the content editing part of your page. So that's basically everything for today. We've clear covered how to set up your page, add pages, change your theme, customize some of your theme, how to set up your blog, your menus, how to insert pictures, videos, and also how to do links. So thanks for watching, and if you have any more questions or would like any more information, don't hesitate to get in touch on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn, Big Red Cloud.